This video will demonstrate how to install the Martin Smart Series Jet Nozzle. This new nozzle is used in conjunction with Martin Air Cannons to remove buildup in high temperature processes such as cement preheater towers. Please note that this is a simulation and not an actual preheater tower. Once you've located the position to where the nozzle will be installed, step one is to cut a 7 to 8 inch 175 millimeter to 200 millimeter hole in the wall of the vessel. If the vessel is lined with refractory, you will need to core drill a 5.5 to 6 inch or 140 millimeter to 150 millimeter hole in the existing refractory material. The new Smart Series nozzles are supplied with a mounting flange. Weld the mounting flange to the vessel wall using a single bolt configuration, where a single bolt is located at the 12 o'clock position. During an outage, you can attach as many mounting flanges as you need for future nozzle installations. If you plan to install the Smart Series jet nozzle at a later date, you can simply attach a blind flange to the installed mounting flange. The bolt hole pattern of the mounting flange is a standard ANSI 4 inch pattern or DIN 100 pattern, depending on your application. So a standard blind flange can be used to cover the hole. If you are installing the Smart Series jet nozzle at this time, then the next step is to attach the Y shaped pipe to the mounting flange using the supplied cap screws and compression washers. Once the Y pipe has been attached, Simply slide the jet nozzle into the Y-pipe. Align the jet nozzle by using the flats on the back plate. The flats coincide with the direction of the jet nozzle. In certain instances, the Y-pipe will need to be mounted in one direction or the other to avoid current structures. The flat sides of the back plate assure that the nozzle is aligned to the proper angle and also allows for visual inspection. Once the jet nozzle is aligned correctly, simply fasten the jet nozzle to the Y-pipe using the supplied hardware. The standard Smart Series jet nozzle is set for a depth of 9 inch 228 millimeters, of refractory. When installed, the tip of the nozzle should be flush with the refractory. If the depth of refractory is more than 9 inches 228 millimeters, other depths are available please ask your Martin representative for assistance. Your Smart Series jet nozzle is now installed. The air cannon can now be attached to the Y-pipe. In an installation where the refractory has been removed from the wall or a new build application, we recommend the mounting flange with a 9 inch 228 millimeter stainless steel tube attached. The installation does not change, but the stainless steel tube 